In Luke 15, Jesus tells us a story called the parable of the prodigal son. It's about a man who split his wealth to his two sons. And as soon as he did it, the younger son ran off with everything he got and spent it all. And soon a famine came into the country, of course, and the son was left with nothing. So he went back to his father. Now, it doesn't talk about the father during the time his son was gone. But can you imagine how he felt? Disappointed, let down, betrayed, disheartened, probably some regret, maybe even a little angry with his son. So when his son came back, you might think he'd be angry or upset at him. Like he's going to let him have it. At the very least, he's going to give him one of those, I'm not angry, just disappointed. But you know what the father did? I love how it's worded here too. It says, he felt compassion. He felt compassion and he embraced his son. His son, knowing what he did, said, I I'm not worthy to be your son and I don't deserve another chance. But the father didn't even stop there. He said, let's get on our finest clothes. Let's have the best food and let's celebrate. So one of the things I wonder about though, when I see this story, is how can the father look past such disappointment? How can he be so faithful to a son who is unfaithful? The answer is in the text when it says he had compassion. The father said, I, I thought my son was dead, but now he's alive. I thought he was lost, but he's found. The father embodied 1 Corinthians 13. Paul writes 1 Corinthians and, and he says, look, there's things that we don't quite understand yet. There's things that we can see now that will be gone and away soon enough. And there's things that we can't see right now that we'll one day understand when we're with Jesus again and, and everything's gonna be kumbaya and complete. And in 1 Corinthians 13, verse 13, Paul says, so for now though, until that day comes, these three remain, faith, hope, and love. The father from the story had seemingly every reason to turn his back. He had every reason to say, you get what you deserve. But he didn't even do that. Instead, the father said, look, I got faith, I got hope, and I got love. I got faith. It's being tested. It's really difficult to keep the faith right now, but I'm going to keep moving because I know when I stick with my faith, even when it's being tested, that just means that it's real. I got hope, even though it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot to be hopeful for, even though things aren't going the way I expected, I got hope in a better tomorrow. And I got love. I love God. He is my strength. He is my provider. He is my source of everything that I have. And I got love. I love God and I love my neighbor, even my son, who may not deserve it, who made some wrong decisions, who, who lost everything that I gave to him. I love him because love covers a multitude of sin. And it's the love that God loved me with. Even when I'm disappointed and bitter and things aren't going my way, I got faith hope and love.